Hey everybody, I wanted to make another video about my little favorite spinning wheel, the Polywog by Spinolution. And I'm a dealer, so I get asked a lot of questions about the Polywog, which makes sense because it is a uh, very unique wheel. So, one of the things people usually want to know is, is it the right wheel for me, basically? And there's yes and there is kind of two part answer on that one. It really depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for a great entry level spinning wheel, um, you know, and you're not looking to drop lots of money on it all at once, uh, I've got another video that's been popular comparing that and the Lewitt S17. And I still totally agree with all of those statements. I think it's a phenomenal wheel just all the way around that way. Um, as far as some, then people usually will start asking me like, oh, well, it's portable and it does art yarn. Well, yes, <laughs> it is definitely very portable. It's small. And yes, it does do art yarn. But keep in mind, if you're spinning, if your primary goal is like you want to make big, giant, chunky art yarn and you just want to buy it, just the base entry level, which um, comes with the three little four ounce bobbins and... Um, you know, just the standard polywog. Yes, it does have the big hook orifice that, you know, it will easily go through and you can make big yarn. That being said, you're not going to get like, you know, <laughs> eight ounces or even four ounces. You're not going to get that much if you're making, you know, if you're into like the locks and you want to make, you know, yarn the size of my arm that you're going to knit a blanket with. Obviously, you're not going to get that much on each one of these little bobbins. So, I mean, yes, it does make them. Would you necessarily be super duper happy with it? Because you'd be having to really, like, work to get the yarn on there. Or, um, you know, have, like, lots of little mini skeins instead of some big ones. Then the entry-level polywog might not be the best wheel for you. If you still wanted something really portable that did that, I would probably recommend, you know, spending a little bit more money and getting, um, I, my other wheel is the King B, or they even have the Worker B. I mean, if you really want to make some big yarn. And those both fold, they're fabulous. They've got a little bit more power behind them. So if that's what you're looking for is to make big, chunky art yarn and have something portable, I would point you in the direction of the Bs. If you like making, I'd say, what I'd call standard bulky yarn, <laughs> which is what I make a lot of, I do have a, a different video with that on getting four ounces of bulky weight yarn on one of these guys. And you do have to, and I say in the video, kind of use your brain and switch pegs and, you know, that. But you can definitely get standard, normal, bulky weight yarn perfectly fine on here, you know, with some tension adjusting and peg moving. So that's not a problem. And obviously anything thinner, not a problem. Um, and that is, like I said, the standard polywog wheel. And I will show you mine, but it has adjustments on it, so I didn't want to confuse anybody. Uh, it comes with the four ounce head, the built-in lazy Kate, which is so nice, and um, the three four ounce bobbins, which is great because three bobbins is pretty standard for what you need if you want to do any sort of two ply. So that way you could do one ply on one, one ply on the other, and the two ply on the third one. So the fact that it comes with three bobbins is great. So that being said, the other reason I love the Polywog is it has adjustments. You can uh, buy other things that go with it. And yes, yes, the 12 ounce, uh, the 12 ounce head that goes on it is expensive. I hear that a lot. I also thought that. <laughs> I agree. It is definitely, I think the wheel itself is so affordable that then you look at the price of the 12 ounce upgrade and you're like, ah, but you have to understand what you're getting with that. All of the, from what I can tell and what I've heard from being a dealer, all of the, uh, like the world technology and everything that you're really paying a lot for is in the top half of the wheel. I mean, the bottom, especially on the polywog, it's a little tiny wheel. I mean, you're paying for like little treadles and a circle thing. So the top part is what's got the technology, the work, all the little pieces, that sort of thing is in the top part. So that's why buying the 12 ounce upgrade, you're buying an entire second top half of your wheel. So it's not like you're buying like a snap on bobbin and you're like, oh, it's bigger now. Like you're buying an entire second top half to your wheel. <laughs> so that is definitely what's up with that. That being said, I love my 12 ounce upgrade on it. So I would almost... If you really want a small wheel that is light and you want the full range of options, I would say just think about buying the polywog, the just the regular polywog, and then get the 12 ounce upgrade. The accelerator is cool. I like it. 
Uh, totally honest opinion. I don't know if it's a must have if you're like super into like really fine yarn or like the, you're really like all about cotton yarn or all about flax or something that's got little short fiber links and the accelerator is a must for you. But then the 12 ounce head wouldn't be. So keep that in mind. So first figure out what type of yarn do you want to make and how much of it do you want to make in one time. If you want to make something bigger, and so I'm just going to show you the 12 ounce upgrade and how I use my wheel and why I like it so much. So yes, I definitely, to answer that question, I think the Polywog is a fantastic wheel. Um, if you want to make bulkier, a lot of bulkier yarn at once, especially like crazy art yarn with locks and what have you, get the 12 ounce upgrade or get like a King Bee or something <laughs> or a Worker Bee. But if you're just making regular old yarn and you want something that is more affordable and smaller, I think the Polywog is just fantastic. So enough of looking at me. Let's look at the Polywog. This is my Polywog, how I have it set up and how I like to use it every day. It does have the accelerator on it, which, like I said, could be kind of take it or leave it, depending on if you wanted the extra couple inches of height and if you were really into fine uh, fiber, but not a must-have if you're looking maybe for uh, mainly for bigger yarns. I like to leave my 12 ounce upgrade head just pretty much permanently on here because I'm lazy and I don't like to have to, you know, I don't want to switch back and forth. And cool trick, you can actually, since they're the same depth, you can put the four ounce bobbins that you already have. So you already have three of those on here. And then you just, uh, it's hard to do this with one hand. Well, you would snap this back on here with two hands, which goes much quicker. And then you can, you know, easily spin that way. I like to spin one single on this, one single on another four ounce, and then I will two ply when I want the extra room onto the 12 ounce bobbin that comes with this, which you can see is this guy, and it's much bigger. So you definitely have plenty of room to get, uh, like I said, bulkier yarn or more yardage if you're, you know, onto this one. And it snaps just in like the other one. And it looks less weird this way, but uh, it saves me. Using the 4-ounce ones on there saved me from having to switch back and forth. It does have the golden whirl on the back, which is all of the wonderful engineering, which is, honestly, it's so smooth, and I don't have any problem with it with fine yarn. So that's why I said I don't know if I think the accelerator is a must-have, especially if you're not like the queen of lace weight or something. It's got the built-in lazy cape, just like the 4-ounce head, tension block over here. But the 12 ounce upgrade, as you see, is literally half the spinning wheel with, I mean, the drum <laughs> for this 12 ounce head is like almost the size of the, uh, you know, the wheel on the bottom. So that's, you know, reflected in the cost. So if you were interested in the 12 ounce head or bigger yarns, I would say if you want the Polywog, go ahead and just order it. That way you don't have to pay shipping on the accessory. Just go ahead and order it with the wheel and I think you'll be a lot happier. But like I said, if you like thinner yarns or you're not so much worried about the yardage uh, and you just do like regular bulky weight down, not like the super big bulky weight, I think you would be perfectly happy with the four ounce bobbins. But just do keep in mind the size difference on that. But I just love the Polywog and I think it is a great wheel for pretty much any situation. It's super portable. It's incredibly versatile. I mean, as you see, it's got so many different ways it can be used. It's got the built-in Lazy Kate, which you don't have to worry about buying any other attachments. Base model comes with three of these. 12 ounce upgrade comes with one of these, which I don't honestly know why you would ever need more than one of those. Um, because like I said, I pretty much single onto these and double onto that. So I love this exactly like it is this way and I use it every single day.